Good evening. Welcome to the program. Tonight we have uh, our lovely ladies. But you don't ours. know what their names are. No, I don't. <laughs> I have a lousy memory. I don't know their names, and I will let ours do that. But we welcome you to the show and hope you're all safe and well and stay away from the virus as much as you can. So we will let Aris take over, and she will introduce the ladies since I can't remember anything. <laughs> I can't. Okay, we had a laugh last week too. <laughs> well, it was on me, on me last week. Okay, uh, we have Heavenly Hope again. I had it on Facebook, so I hope a lot of you guys that saw it on Facebook are listening tonight because this is a very, very great program. Oh, and uh, do what? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said I hope. I, was like, oh, I just forgot to know. <laughs> okay, Marianne. All right, we have Jill Beckerman and Beth Giesler, and they're going to tell you about um, what to go to to find recipes and just all kind of information tonight about Heavenly Hope. So whichever one of you want to talk first, or you can share yeah. talking, whatever you want to do. Want. You go. Okay, so what do you, want, you want me to talk a little bit about Heavenly Hope first, and then that um, what we're doing, or whatever you want to, yeah, whatever you want to do. Okay, well, uh, I'm sure <coughs> it, doesn't it doesn't matter. He matter. gets you either way. So okay, so I'm like, he can pick you up either way. Um, I'm sure most of you have heard about Heavenly Hope. Um, we've been in the county since uh, April of 2019. Right now, we have. Um, a couple different projects going and Beth is going to talk a lot about the produce boxes that many of you have either gotten or heard about. Uh, we are feeding about a thousand families a week wow. on those boxes. Um, I wanted to take a minute to talk about our back to school drive through that we teamed up with the hospital on. I don't know if you can see the flyer that I have right here. Help, uh, help zoom in on okay, it. so um, the actual drive-through is going to be August um, 6th. It's a Thursday, um, so from 11 to 12:30, you do need to RSVP. Um, I would say probably by August 4th, you'll need to RSVP your children. They will be able to come through, um, pick up their backpack. I think there's going to be some sack lunches provided by an organization. I know Heavenly Hope is going to give a box of produce away to every family that comes through. But one of the things that I wanted to talk about is uh, yesterday we posted on our Facebook page about our back to school drive. So with COVID, I know that a lot of um, local businesses and organizations are hurting. So. Um, I've actually opened up to, um, if, if God has le leads you, puts on your heart to donate school supplies, um, you're, you can message Heavenly Hope on Facebook, you can call, um, or I work at State Farm at Lori Edling's office, and you are more than welcome to drop supplies off there. If you need uh, an idea, there's a list on Facebook on certain things that we're really in need for. Um, a lot of times people provide for the younger children, but we are really, um, as an organization, we'd like to focus a little more on middle school and high school because those children need uh, a different, different things like three and five subject notebooks. They need the zip binders. They need the scientific calculators. They have to have earbuds. Um, and so those are some of the things that we're asking if God lays on your heart to help, that you'll you'll step up and and help some children in our or in in the town in need. So, uh, if you have any additional questions on that, please feel free to get a hold of us, Facebook website, uh, or me personally. So, or they can contact is Tina. You can, can they contact Tina too? The oh, they hospital? they could contact Tina at the hospital. Yeah. I just haven't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Excuse me. Yes. <clears throat> now, is there a uh, minimum wage thing to this? I mean, or is it a mostly for people that uh, cannot afford a lot of this, or is it just for anybody that comes in? It um, is just for anyone that comes in. They're not, there's, they're not going to be checking um, 
what your family's income is. Uh, right now, you know, one of the things that Heavenly Hope has talked a lot about is those gap families. Um, we have noticed that during this time, families who normally can provide well for their family are struggling because their hours were cut or they were laid off completely and so that this is one of the first times in their lives that they're having to ask for help and so a lot of people don't know how to do that mm -hmm. yes. uh, putting your pride or learning to put your pride in your pocket is a very hard lesson uh, and so there won't be any of that it's if you need help and you need help with your children for school supplies, you need help with school clothes or shoes, mm -hmm. Heavenly Hope has an abundance of that. We are more than happy to help with any of those types of needs as well. So really it's just, you have to make the first step and say, I need help. So mm -hmm. this is not strictly low income, no. but it's mm -hmm. everybody. It right. is for everybody. Mm -hmm. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's been, I mean, it's awesome. And one thing I feel like with um, just our organization and all the things that God's blessed us with, we've been able to really get to know all the resources in our community because there's so many great things going on. And so, like Jill said, you know, if we don't have something, then we're going to reach out to another resource and say, you know, is this something that you guys could provide? Or if we don't know the answer to something, then I'll call, you know, Mary Jo Raymer and pick her brain or Brandy at the hospital who's a social worker and pick her brain. And because we all can help each other out, you know, right. we all don't have all the answers and we're all learning. Right. And there's, there's things that each of the organizations can help each other with instead of all of us doing the same thing. You know what I mean? Right. We're trying oh, to good. reinvent the wheel. So it's been cool because we've been seeing a lot of that with these boxes, a lot, I mean, a lot of unity. I mean, we've we've been able to really get to know people in really, I think, every organization in our community for the most part. Churches, businesses, um, organizations. I mean, it, everybody's really come together to make sure everybody is getting um, to take part in this mm -hmm. because I mean you know people that we don't know right you know she knows people that maybe I don't know that are struggling because not everybody shares their story with everybody right you know and so what we're finding is by allowing people to take out boxes or leaning on the community I mean this organization it's God's to begin with, but it's also the communities, you know, and we want the community to realize that, you know, we're here to help you, but you help us too, because you teach us as much as, you know, we hope that we teach you. So it's, I don't know, it's been really cool watching it grow because yes. we've only been able to grow because of, first of all, God's will, second of all, our amazing volunteers, and then third, just taking time to listen and learn from mm -hmm. the people that have come to us because their stories have allowed us to grow and learn, you know? I'm, I'm laughing because I was thinking about that day uh, where we had 55 volunteers yeah. that one day. You're oh. kidding. Uh, Isn't and that I, wonderful? I, re I remember looking at Beth and going, I did this. Like, yeah. this is so awesome. Here, I was afraid we weren't going to have enough help, and uh -huh. God sent us 55 people. This yeah. is so amazing. <laughs> that was our very first. That's the food truck that we purchased and brought it to the county in February. Yeah. Before COVID hit in our, or anything. And we only had seven volunteers on our list before that. So God really put on our hearts to uh, get this food truck to the county and and just bring it to the people mm -hmm. and so we did that and we sent out for volunteers yeah we had all these volunteers show up <laughs> and we were like oh my gosh thank you but I mean wow did we need them and wow have we needed them and it has even grown because when COVID hit we were scrambling trying to figure out what yeah. to do so literally so like our first up. night out from not doing the mobile soup kitchen because we couldn't do that anymore because of COVID we were like, what are we gonna do? Like, we gotta get to our neighborhoods. So we we had people sitting at 
each uh, uh, commuter parking lot, mm -hmm. like with bags of food, like covered sitting, from head to toe. Yeah, covered from head to toe <laughs> with like a little sign in our window, and we advertised it. And I think we fed what like ten families that night. Yeah, it wasn't but many, like, but literally that was the starting point. And now we're feeding over a thousand families. We have oh, a wait, brand new gosh. truck of hope. You know, right. where we're able That's to deliver great. to people right. that can't get out. And it, it's just so cool because it was raining that night. It was, And we're, like, calling each other. We had Kyle from the Presbyterian Church and his mom. And we were like, you got anybody down at your commuter parking? Nope, nobody yet. And were you with me? No, I came and helped pack bags that night. Oh, but then, yeah. Uh, I don't remember it was Jenny. who was sitting. And somebody would call in, or come in commuter a lot, and we're like, are you needing food? Are you here to get the food? Because it was <laughs> raining, so we couldn't be out of our car. Oh my goodness! I like, it makes me laugh now because. But that's just being that just shows you like our obedience <laughs> to God, and right, then right. because of that, He just continues to reward heavenly hope and continues to grow. And now, like to be able to say, our organization is feeding a thousand families a week wow. is. But like that is amazing it's absolutely so cool. amazing it's so cool and you know it's we're not doing it by ourselves it's right. everybody else is doing yes. it with us you yes. know so you know i i say you know we say heavenly hope is feeding a thousand but really our community it's is community. feeding each other yeah it, and that's what's so cool you know we have one group coming to pick up 125 boxes you know, taking right. them one part of the county and another group. So we have tomorrow two different ends of the county drive throughs going on that we're not even doing. Mm -hmm. You know, we're just providing, sending. They're, they're doing, sending it out, and it's just, I don't know, it's cool. That was a great idea. How did you guys ever think of that? I mean, what made you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really I was going to say, that was... That Rose was guy. all. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Put it on Laura's heart, but, wasn't it? Yeah. On Laura's well, heart. how did how did it really for the produce boxes or the USDA? No, you guys families? thinking of doing? Because you were doing, weren't you feeding and going out? Yeah, before? we were doing the mobile soup kitchen. So what happened right. was, um, so COVID hit, and because we had done that truck or mm -hmm. we had bought that truck from Simo Food Bank, um, they contacted us because they started getting these COVID um, relief food trucks. They're shelf stable with the shelf stable food. Okay. So um, the shelf stable food, we got one of those trucks. Now in the meantime, the schools were starting, were shutting down. So the schools would get all this government food that they weren't, they were feeding half the amount of kids because they were just feeding the kids that could, you know what I mean? They right. were trying to feed as many kids as they could, but the numbers, you know, significantly dropped. Right. So, so we, they reached out to different organizations. So then we got food from the schools that they weren't able to use. And so from there, we were like, we can't cook this ourselves because of COVID. We don't have a restaurant. We don't have... So we reached out to Do Drop, and we were like, hey, could you guys cook this food that we're getting so that we can take it out to people? And they said, sure. So then we didn't have a freezer at the time, so they stored this food, and then each week we would tell them what we needed, and they would cook food for us, and then we would pick it up, and we took it out to different apartment complexes, and with our mask and our gloves. We did drive throughs too. We did drive throughs too, with roasted oh potatoes, gosh. and smoked at the, meat, and, out you know. Elks Lodge. Yeah, out at the Elks Lodge. Yeah, because the Elks Lodge, uh, Ashley Bader reached out to us. She saw a post, and she was like, I, you know, maybe you guys could use our Elks Lodge for something. And so then that was our first camp. Like, we finally, like, we had a place. Oh. And so we did everything at Elks Lodge. And and it was easy to set up the drive through yes. and have right. the lanes come through. Right. And right. so it was just easy that way. Yeah. But then we got the produce. Yeah, then we found out about this grant, the Farmers was, to Families grant. It just kept growing. Yeah, and so <laughs> then amazing. Laura looked into it, and we had missed the deadline for it. So she was like, okay, but what distributors are getting this? Because she's a dietitian by trade. Like, that's what her job right. is, you know? Mm -hmm. So her passion is food and getting, you know, food to people. And um, and so she just keeps digging and digging and digging. And um, so she gets a hold of um, 
the, the people that USDA and she finds out who actually was awarded the grants. Well, we found out the people in our area that were awarded the grants. Well, we have 501c3, and so that's the food goes to different nonprofits that are 501c3. So I remember the day um, she had reached out to the different ones, and um, she calls me, and she's like, oh, my gosh, we're going to get boxes. And I was like, what? And she was like, yeah, we're going to get boxes from proffers. And she, I think it started at, what were we going to get, 200 or something? It was it? It was 300. A very, I don't think it was that many. I don't think it was that many from proper. Yeah, it was. It, it was, was number, and I was like, "Now proper's out of farmers." Yeah. yeah, right, right. So <clears throat> we knew that we were going to get this X amount of boxes every Thursday until we didn't get them anymore. So we were like, "Oh my gosh, this is amazing!" And then she called me back, and she was like, "You're not even going to believe this." She goes, "I just got a call from Simo Food Bank." Um, but there's another distributor that's wanting to, or that's going through them, and SEMO is allocating 200 for us every Monday. And I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, because that was the day, so that was the day that the, I got that call on my phone, and I was like, oh, I'm passing this on to Laura, because Laura's been handling all of the food, yeah. all the food distribution, or setting everything up, and I was like, I'm not... That's her baby, <laughs> yeah. and that's what it was. Saying we're getting we're getting more boxes, and yeah. then we got another food truck. Actually, we ended up getting three more Simo yeah. food trucks yeah. during yeah. COVID, so and so we have four now. Yeah, and so during this whole time, it just keeps growing and, and the growing numbers and growing. Keep building because it's wonderful. You know, we called and we were like, "Hey, can we offer these boxes to um, the school because they have kids coming through their lunch lines?" And that would be perfect, you know, like we're getting these shipment of boxes for the first time and it was just enough to feed about how many kids that they were seeing come through, you know. And <clears throat> so um, we ended up being able to create a relationship where flyers were going out as they came through the line and then they could come to us through the KC Hall if they wanted to, to get a box. So, it, <laughs> and that just... That, that that was like yeah it crazy was so because cool. we were out of boxes for whatever reason then that day they had more come through than what they normally had and so towards the end of the what would have been the lunch period we were already out of boxes and so people were coming up with the flyers going but we have a flyer why can't we get a box and we're like because we don't have any more boxes <laughs> <laughs> they're already gone <laughs> and then we got a phone call and um and laura called me and she's like um, Proffer wants to give us more and I was like well you know do the, does anybody else need them because then you're thinking yeah. like is this a test are we supposed to and she was like no like they're supposed to we were like okay we're gonna pray about it and see and then at that point I told Laura we needed to do it. Who reached out to us? Like somebody reached out I don't to know, us but I needed a big number. But I told Laura. Yeah. She's like, Jill, what are you thinking? I was like, nope, God's given them to us for a reason. Let's take them. And so yeah. she came back and said, hey, we're going to get 400 more. And I was like, oh, my gosh, we're getting 800 boxes on that day? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And then that that Thursday, she's like, I don't, I don't know. We're going to have extra boxes. And we had a couple hundred extra boxes, and we did a drive through They were gone in a half hour. Yeah. So we had gotten rid of every single extra box that they had given us. And that's what happens every week. Yeah. We, we ha always, time. it always ends up, and they all get. And I think getting the word out, because a lot of people that I knew, mm -hmm. a couple of them in the group knew. Right. A lot of them, what's that, what's that? Right. We said, well, it's for anybody. It right. doesn't matter. You don't have to have it's that not low income. It's for no. anybody. No, it's for anybody. Yeah. yeah. And then they just kept growing, I mean, passing, mm -hmm. and finally everybody was sharing boxes. Yes. Yeah. And That's it's the so same cool. thing with, like, clothing and shoes and anything that people might need. I mean, we have a whole house full of things ready to be donated to people, but we just need to know who needs what. Oh, yeah. okay. And so that's the other thing. Like, we're not, we don't just have the produce no, boxes huh. or food. We also have all these other things. So they can. contact you to get the uh -huh. clothing yes. and yep. stuff? And yes. You. They just, if they call, um, leave a message. If nobody answers, texting is usually the fastest response because there's only two people that man the lines. And so if they call during the day and we're at work or, 
you know, so we usually try to return within 24 hours, but, um, or email is good, or Facebook, Facebook messaging is good, um, but yeah, we really, like I said, if it's something that we can't answer or we can't provide, we always try to share a resource with them because the other part of our organization is we're, we're wanting to help educate people and not enable people. So we'll yeah. share, these are the, look at all these resources in our town, try calling X, Y, Z, and then we'll follow up the next day. Hey, what'd you find out from these people? You know, and just to set little goals to allow them to see they can, you know, people can do it on their own. They can, they can move forward, um, you know, but yeah, sometimes it's just hard, you right. know, it's hard because when you're knocked down so many times, you know, and sometimes people, that's all they know is being knocked down. They get so far and they just keep getting knocked down. So we're all about holding their hand. If they they take a step, we take a step. If they take two steps, we're going to take two steps with them, you know, mm -hmm. so. But, but yeah, like she great. said, and we like to give them action items yes. is what we call them in our group. Right. So. Uh, whether the action is making your phone calls or doing your daily devotionals or whatever your action items are, mm -hmm. uh, we those are expectations. Yeah. So if you want, if you need or want more help from us, then the action items have to be done. And so that's where she's talking about where we're not going to be the enablers. Yeah. Because we do want to teach them responsibility, and we do want them to start being accountable for themselves. And the only way to do that is baby steps mm -hmm. up. Right. Yeah. So. And I hope it helps a lot of people because oh, there's a lot of people oh, that been, are. It's been awesome mm -hmm. watching people just grow. Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes so we're great. just planting the seed, and we just pray and. You know, sometimes we get to see the growth. Sometimes we get to see afterwards. You know, it's mm -hmm. just been, we've gotten to see really all of those. We have. At this point. And it's just, it's so cool to watch. What, the, what really gets to me is when we had them here the first time, uh -huh. your office was in your pocketbook. I know. <laughs> I know. It's yeah. in our truck of hope now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's I now. know. Yeah. Uh, because we were so fascinated what you guys were doing yeah. at that point and now look. I know. We over, just a little a over a year and later. We got yeah. a truck and we have a commercial grade freezer to help store food that we take out mm -hmm. to feed people um, that are uh, struggling from COVID and we have uh, five new hot boxes and five new big coolers. So instead oh, of like boxes and minivans and I mean I think my kids were Durango. so excited when we we like found out we got this truck of hope because they're like oh my gosh we, we get, get our car back <laughs> because, you know we go somewhere and I'm like oh we got to get the heavenly hope stuff out of the van <laughs> okay now you guys can fit <laughs> okay now you can put it back in. <laughs> yeah. also, so it's just all in there yeah, also, that is so great uh, would go and help people out on the highways and things. I remember. Oh yeah, yeah. Hauling yes. cars in and things. Yeah. Like. You still have mm -hmm. things like that too. Yeah. They were still helping homeless. Yeah, still helping homeless. Yep. Um, it's, oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. So we, you know, it's it's just I don't know. I, Another good program would be. I know there's a lot of kids that don't read well. Yes. Yes. If there was a way. It's coming. Get the kids. I would be help. I would like to. I mean, not a professional. Yeah. Yeah. But, but that doesn't matter. Person. Well, the the big dream, <laughs> right? Our big our big dream is to have a a nice size building like the Lucent Window Building, that um where we can have a free store set up in there where we can have after school programs for the kids where we can have counseling for adults and children that need it, um, where we can have office like space. Like a manufacturing center where um, people yeah. people can work that need a second chance, but their work day would be a set time every day if transportation's needed, then that will be included. Mm -hmm. They'll, they'll yeah, eat lunch a lot together, of people, like, right. you know, part of their day jobs. is a life skills yeah. class. Like, so we teach like budgeting and stuff like that, but it would all be, it would be manufacturing something to give back to the community. And I and I really think that that's gonna take a combination of a lot of different um, 
organizations that are already in place and it's going to be housed under one it's just going to be a, a united front you right. know it's going to be a united front and it, it it will be here i just don't know when i well, don't know when it's going to happen the way you're or how going now happen. wait a minute and it'll be here <laughs> yeah <laughs> so it's just yeah. you know we know we know the funding will come somehow we know because it, it'll just all work in god's timing and yeah. so have we're you, have you got a person that looks for grants no searches for grants well we do we yeah we we do we do we in our spare time, time. <laughs> we do we do we need, need someone, someone. <laughs> yeah 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 because saying that might get you yeah. a volunteer yeah, if, yeah. We, yeah. if anybody out there you know knows how to look for grants for nonprofits, we would love to have you help us out because it's a lot of work and it's a lot of research and writing to to get them and just know what to look for and um and so it's heartbreak it's heartbreaking when we get rejected after you put in so much work yes. yeah 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 so definitely if there's anybody out there yes. that would love to help do that we would mm -hmm. welcome you with open absolutely. arms absolutely absolutely so I don't, should I talk about I this? I hope all your sure. dream, dreams are met. Yeah, you can talk about anything you want. Okay. Yeah. Um, so this is an app that the MU Extension is, Office shared with us. Oh, sorry, it's up there. A um, the little bitty one. This yes. is the same one that we gave you the website last, yes, the last website. program. Yes. Right. Um, so, so these are little flyers. Yeah, these little flyers will be in the boxes over the next couple weeks. So be looking for them. Um, we also shared on our Facebook page um, how to get to this app. So um, it's really cool. It's free. And all you have to do is when you're on your phone, it'll show you there's a list. And um, you pick, like, produce, like red pepper. So you click on red pepper, and then it says, like, 10 recipes for red pepper, 25 mm -hmm. recipes. And then you just click on the one you want to cook. Right, and it's real simple to yeah, it's na so navigate. Simple. Very easy. To I know. Navigate. I wish I yeah. had a way to show. Yeah, when you gave it to us, I went I home and I did it, and it was it. very easy. Yeah. yeah, it was so cool. And then the other thing that we have is um, Janet from the MU <clears throat> Extension Office that works with uh, the 4-H and. Sorry, Gina, I don't know your official title, but you're amazing. Um, <laughs> she makes these packets for us every month. So these go out to, um, I don't know how to make him put it, do this put on it the on camera. There. Yeah, you can put it on there. He can okay. yeah. So that's the front page of the packet that comes out with June's um, produce. So we try to get these to people that have young kids at home. Um, they're all activities that you can do with your kids um, outside. Uh, I haven't had a chance to look through this whole packet because I just picked it up a couple hours ago. But there's usually some um, activities to do outside. There's usually um, some sort of family activity that you can do. It's all about encouraging, um, you know, getting out with nature, nature educating. Um, sometimes there's like little recipes. So I never know what Janet puts in there, but she puts those together for us every month. We go pick them up and then like um, Monday, I gave a pack of them to St. Agnes and they did it at their drive through okay. And um, so we just try to get them, you know, if we see somebody come through with kids, we're like, hey, this would be a cool packet. Or like on our delivery list, we have now some families reaching out where they have kids that have medical issues where they can't get out of the house a whole lot. So packets will go out to them as well. So it's just a cool another little... good program mm -hmm. oh yeah 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 you their guys website are amazing. is so what do you cool do in your spare time oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> what spare time <laughs> um but and then the other thing i wanted to talk about tonight was um the new program that we have going on with the nutrition center in the hospital the friends foundation um that we've partnered up with those two amazing groups um, and we have a um, we have a new um, program starting um, where families can fill out an application and it's just basic questions um, to find out kind of where they're at in their life journey right now so it's not specifically like finding out if you 
are low income or you know if you're in a position and you're elderly and you are struggling or you're a gap family it's just finding out like who you are and where you're at and um from those applications uh every twice a month um we'll have deliveries where um families will get um uh, fresh fresh fruit and vegetables shelf t stable um items hygiene items um and I think those were the three thing, main things we were focusing on, mm -hmm. but um, so that they can make some meals. Like it'll it'll be combined to where and like a weekly menu. Oh, and okay. so we applied for a grant through. Um, I'm gonna say it wrong. I left my paper on the table. We applied through a grant and we ended up getting part of our grant funded for this opportunity. So um, it's really awesome working with them too to get those out. So they've been. Um, getting those phone calls you know to get people on the list for those so then when we go out for our covid deliveries those people are on our truck too so it's okay. another covid outreach in addition to you know what we're already doing so it's really cool that is mm -hmm. yeah you're doing 10 duty yeah. <laughs> double duty you're doing when, 10 when, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's how we got the truck we you know it's it's God's truck. It's the community's truck, and you know, if it can be used for other things, then that's great. Mm -hmm. So it's wonderful. Yeah, you guys are amazing. Amazing. You're making me tired. <laughs> <laughs> take a nap for me. All right. I don't take one for myself. So. <laughs> so. And I'm trying to think of anything. I was like, actually, I think we've covered a lot. Yeah. You have covered a lot. Yeah. Yes, you have. We have more things in the, like more more mm -hmm. irons in the fire. We're just not ready to start talking about those yeah. things yet. So. Um, are you just for St. Jen County? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yep. yep. Are there other counties that are doing this? Well, there's other counties that have asked if there's Heavenly Hopes in their county, and right now, no, but that is something that possibly could grow. Could yeah. grow. So, um, because people have seen, you know, I guess the model and the way, right. the way the outreach and um, just the teamwork and the unity that it brings. Right. Um, we're lucky. You know, I think yeah. that that they um, we've had a couple of questions about how to bring one to their community. Right. So well, that's great. When it's time for that to happen, then we'll figure out how to make that happen. Yeah. <laughs> make them get their own volunteers on. Well, out. yes, yes. Yeah. And uh, so just dump it on them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll probably have to have an overseer for a while, but yeah. yes. Because it's yeah. got to stay with his plan. Yeah. Because right. that's, that's the that's main the thing. That's the thing. That yeah. Is. And that's what we, you know, try to get our volunteers to understand. Um, we, like any major decisions, we always pray, pray. about it yeah. and we always let him lead. I mean, we've had stuff handed to us on a silver platter and if it it's not feel right we we don't do it we're like nope i don't think we're supposed to do that and then a couple yeah. weeks later we're like oh yeah we weren't supposed to do that <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah so we really like um we we have like an idea but we're kind of fly by the seat of our pants too because we we go with where we needed you know and where we feel like He's leading us to go and the nudges. We and try to nudges. listen to the nudges. Yeah, and That's you know we always pray, send thing. us the people that need us. Asking, you shall receive. You know, yes. yeah. yeah. And if we're all ever confused or not sure about what direction, we just lean on him, and he always point, makes it very clear. And it, always listens. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, a lot of people have a hard time understanding that, like. We're going to pray about whatever decision. We're going to allow God to lead us in whatever decision. And so sometimes people get frustrated with us because we don't want to make that commitment yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. And it's just yeah. like, well, unfortunately, we can't. I we know. have to have time to pray about it, and we have to have give him time to lay stuff on our heart or, you know, give us a nudge in the right direction. He'll so, put right. it right in front of you when he, the time comes. He always right. does. Yes. 
And sometimes like the truck of hope, I mean, that was literally three days. I mean, it's amazing. it was, it's we totally found amazing. out about it, had a meeting, wrote the grant. I mean, it was an all night. The grant got submitted, um, like at two 30 in the morning, the <laughs> meeting was at 12. The grant got submitted that night at two 30 in the morning and we like, were, and it was all night, all consistent work, like yeah. writing it up and, you know, oh read. Gosh because that's how fast it it had to ha i mean it had to happen that fast mm -hmm. you know i don't know if you've ever had something put on your heart and it's mm -hmm. like you have to get it done mm -hmm. and that's what mm -hmm. it was and we ended up getting the truck of hope and because that's what was supposed to happen you right. know and and it's blessing so many people and it's so cool oh, to watch it is. and oh it's my so gosh. cool to like meet people and just you know, like, and then you deliver to one person and they're, they're like, my neighbor just moved in, you know, do you have any extra on your truck? And so, you know, and then you meet somebody else and mm -hmm. so it's just cool. It just that multiplies. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just so great. Cool. It's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. And then a lot of times people, they want to give back in some way. So, you know, we have this sweet couple um, and they didn't have a whole lot and um, it was one of the first times this had happened and it was at our food truck and we had been out to them and met them and it was our very first food truck mm -hmm. and they were brand new to the community, had just got on their feet um, and we had taken some essential food items out there and just listened to their story and where they were at. And so anytime we had an event, we would make sure they knew about it and they'd always come, you know? And uh, so the, the food truck, they, they were like, hey, we have this walker that um, one of their parents didn't need anymore. And, mm -hmm. and, and it just so happened, like, the next day we got a message. Does, do you guys happen to have a walker <laughs> oh, with my your organization? Word. And, yeah. and, we, and we were like, well, yes, we do. <laughs> so then I got to, you, you know, message back to those people, guess what? You know, because you... But they just wanted to give something back, you know, and, and yeah, I love, it's so had. cool. And that's what they had. And yeah. it was just so cool because that's what people don't realize. It doesn't matter, like, the amount or what it is or some, it's sometimes, it's the answer to somebody else's prayer. You know right. what I mean? If if you're told to, hey, give, the, give them this walker, you know, because we were walking away and he was like, hey, what yeah. about this walker? <laughs> <laughs> and then, Which most people would think is strange, right? But then literally the next day we yeah. got a call for a walker. <laughs> Isn't yeah. that literally. amazing? So and we had one. Yeah. So, yeah, we had it. To give um, somebody. You do take donations. Yes, we do take donations. We have a PayPal giving fund. So that's, um, you can uh, go online to our, uh, well, we have Facebook. We talk about our Facebook page, but we also have a website that is really easy to maneuver. You can get on that and um, you can get onto our PayPal giving fund and you can donate um, through there, <clears throat> like through a credit card or your PayPal or however you want to. Um, you can also uh, send checks. We have a PO box, it's PO box 211, St. Genevieve Drive. Um, and then uh, we also um, have Amazon Smile so if there's any Amazon shoppers out there, they can add Heavenly Hope onto their Amazon Smile. And then quarterly, we get a check from Amazon for that percentage. I can't remember the percentage we get for that. Um, but our website <coughs> yes. is heavenlyhopefoundation.org. Yes. Oh. So yeah. sorry, she didn't give that to us. Yeah, so I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's always one of the things. Yeah. yeah. Heavenlyhopefoundation.org. Now you have people that don't have computers. Right. So like me. <laughs> you can mail you can mail a check. Yes. Uh if you'd like to P.O. Box two eleven. Yep. St. Jen Drive. Yep. Uh -huh. St. Jen. Is it St. Jen Drive or just? Uh, just it's just St. Genevieve, Missouri. Missouri. Yeah. yeah. Just put, okay. P.O. Uh -huh. Box 211, St. Genevieve, Missouri. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, and then also, you board members, you're, you can give a check to a board member, and they usually give it to me to deposit. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Okay. And then our turnaround for receipts is about a month. We're trying to get better on that. <laughs> we are trying to get better. We do handwritten notes because I, that's, 
That's just yes. me. Like I just, I think a handwritten note is important. Very cool. Personal. So um, we do handwritten notes. So it takes us a little bit longer to get thank you or and the receipts back. And the PayPal giving fund, you get an automatic receipt back for tax refund pur purposes, but you still will get a thank you note in the mail. So yeah, I like to when I send because we kind of split the thank you notes, and so um, I always like to say like if we spent use your donation to yeah. to individually help a specific family, yeah. then I say. You know, your contribution made it uh, possible for us to feed a family of six. So uh -huh. thank you so much for listening to to God and sending us that yeah. money. We were, you know, your blessing uh -huh. did this. Mm -hmm. And so I just kind of like to tell people. Yeah, how it was yeah. used. Yeah. Or if, like we had a situation where somebody donated furniture um, and it went to a, a family that they were kind of restarting out. And it ended up being the person that donated the furniture n knew the person getting the furniture through a roundabout way and they like had a really close connection and it was just like so cool because it it they just connected this you know and it's like it was like a full circle moment and it so that them getting that furniture was such a special thing that that little girl now has that furniture that went through that family and now it's in this little girl's family through this randomness of right. heavenly right. hope which isn't randomness like it was all God's plan the whole time but yeah. I mean there were tears and there I mean it's just so cool that's that the, is, the stuff yeah. that mm -hmm. stories and stories uh, and just easy. cool stuff like that mm -hmm. <laughs> if somebody wants to donate something uh-huh oh uh, who do they get in contact with? Um, they can message us. Right now, um, we're not taking a lot of donations because we are working. We just got um, a volunteer, and she's strictly going to manage the house because we get all these donations in, and then we've got to sort them, get them ready to get out to people. So we have our house that we rent um, for all of our stuff, and so... We're going to have some work days coming up. We keep looking at dates, and then something ends up <laughs> happening. So so right now we're taking uh, school supplies, yeah, school blankets, supplies. Mm -hmm. um, socks, and undergarments mm -hmm. are always needed. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think. Well, shelf-stable food. And sometimes... Uh, furniture because we do have yes. waiting lists on furniture but so we have people that need things so the furniture we tend to pick up and take directly to, to the place. families yeah that we need so um but other than that we really don't have a lot of room for other donations right now mm -hmm. we will soon yeah but you will yeah. We, <laughs> oh, yeah. And we need to get it all organized. And, and Sheila, who's back. gonna um, kind of take over, she'll let us know. Hey, we're running real low on, you know, like teen girls' clothes, and so then we can put out. Hey, if you have any teen girls' clothes to donate, you know. Are you running low on like teen girl clothes right now? No. <laughs> well, I don't know for sure. Maybe. <laughs> I, have, I have a young granddaughter that oh, has clothes. Goes through clothes I'll like, let you know in about a week, and Sheila will probably let me know by then. <laughs> I'll tell her to hang on to her stuff instead. Of just yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, and then any donation that is made, um, because we are nonprofit, it's a tax write-off. Right. For you, that's what you get a receipt for. Right. So, well, so that's a good. That's yeah. not much anyway. Yeah. 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 So. Well, yeah. now you girls just are so amazing. We're glad you come on here. Well, thank you for inviting us. Yeah. Very happy. Yeah, I'm very happy yeah. you do. Yeah. And we just thank the community and all the people that have just, mm -hmm. I mean, those. it's hot those days where we do boxes. It's hot. They're 25 pounds a piece, and it's 840. Two loads of 420 boxes. On Thursday. She, she yeah. was working herself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. you unload them, and, and it... I mean, but I we love it. But she was very nice too. Yeah. <laughs> There's not very often you won't catch me with a smile on my face. Right. 
So <laughs> that's one of the best things I love. Um, I just love people. And serving mm -hmm. is probably the biggest thing. Yeah. I've now, you spoke of uh, board of directors. Uh -huh. Would any of them mind you mention their name? Oh, uh -uh. no. So um, it's myself, Jill, um, Jenny Heller, Laura, Be or <laughs> Laura Selby, uh, Darlene Klein, John Stupe, and Greg Stevenson. Am I forgetting anybody? No. And then Jared Richardson is our insurance agent. So he comes to all the meetings and we always kind of check with him. Tells us what we can and can't do. Yeah, well, I don't have can to go very do. far to get anything. Yeah. yeah. I'll just go next door and, and tell you. An <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We have an accountant, Shauna Womack, that works for, I always forget the name of their, their nonprofit accounting group out of St. Louis. Well, so, that's great. So we have Good. a separate accountant. And we have a lawyer, Good. too. So we just kind of have uh -huh. our little crew. <laughs> and you have an office. Well, I mean, kind of. <laughs> I was just seeing your purse isn't close. I know. Oh, well, well, I got this That's new because bag. the office is in the truck now. Yeah, it's in the oh, truck yeah, now. Yeah, that's right. Yes. That's right. A mobile. But we are working on we are having. Working. Next time we're on, okay, let's make that a goal. Next time we're on, we're going to have office space. Okay. So we're, we are working on the front room yes. of the house that we rent as an office so that people will be able to come in and sit down and talk to us. Oh, and that would be fun. Then we're, we'll have the house. The house is going to be set up where we can easily shop for the things that they need. Right. So that's the goal. We're trying to get there now. <laughs> and we have office hours now. They're Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 8.30 to 4.30. Oh, well, that's great. So yeah. those are the days that we have somebody set aside so that the, the phones get answered when you Tuesday, call. Wednesday, when you call, Thursday? You know, if you yes. have a need, Which more time? than likely, 8.30 8 to 4.30. Okay. You know, those needs can be met quicker. Um, so that's the days that we have. And you have phone number reach by? Uh-huh. It's 636-465-9100. And sometimes life happens, so sometimes the person with the office hours may not have those hours. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Something else okay. might be happening. So. <laughs> <laughs> You're um, well, I had page. something floating in my what head, so um, that's why I asked. Heavenlyhopefoundation.org. Oh, I don't have <laughs> I should have. I have cards if you guys want one. And I should have brought our new cards, or are the cards that are in the box. Oh, yeah. So this has everything on it, too. When you get boxes now, they have oh, thank you. faith, thank hope, you, or welcome. love cards in there. And so the cards are, you know, like five by seven cards. And there's course. Bible verses listed that you can look up and read that talk about hope or talk about faith, or talk about love, so oh, it neat. kind of gives people direction. Right. Kyle and his mom, Marsha, were in my church. Oh, yeah, oh. they're awesome. They you have helped a ton. Mm -hmm. A lot, a ton, a ton. Yeah, we keep so. our food area going pretty good. Yes, generally. and we, oh, here's one. So this is oh, a yeah. card. This is what, this is the hope one, so. And it has all our information on it. So it just gives people. Um, you want to zoom in there, Charlie? Direction yeah. on. And these are all verses that, um, you know, like Jill was saying. Charlie. Charlie, zoom in on that little card. Charlie must be gone. <laughs> there he okay. is. is. No, he wouldn't be very far. So they're all. Um, and then, like she said, we have one. The, the pink one is love. And then the purple one is faith. So. And they're just all verses geared to, you know, those things. Those things. So you guys are so creative too. No, that 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 wasn't me. I was like, <laughs> listen, a lot of stuff comes from her that God tells her or directs her or she thinks of on her own. So this lady does so much for Heavenly Hope. Uh, her and Laura, that they're just there's not enough credit that goes to them. It's all so. of us. It's all of us. And our little logo, this is Brent Stolzer. 
Oh, he yeah. designed oh, our logo. Okay. Yeah, he did. Yeah. So Brent and I, like, I can tell him, Brent, this is what I was kind of thinking. And I remember at the very, very beginning, and he was like, I don't, I don't really know what you mean. And I was like, just, you know what my mind is thinking. Like, just, you have to just make it. <laughs> so, so he sent one back, and I was like, no, you got to lose the heart, and then we're good. And then he sent that back, and I was like, that's it. That's what was in my head. <laughs> and those are That's how he and I work, hands. like, with yeah, t-shirt designs hands. and stuff, yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's funny. We laugh about that because <laughs> I'm like, you always figure it out. Because I don't know how to, like, tell him what I'm thinking. Like, I just give him, like, He little, just gets your little... Yeah, little clues, yeah, yeah. and yeah. then he's like, oh, okay, I got it. We've also had a lot of people asking about t-shirts oh, and yeah, where to get one. Those and so we have a link now on our website where you can go on and order a t-shirt. Yep. Okay. So $20. And, yep. um, so there's a little link at the store and yep. then you can pay for them on there. And if you don't have where you can pay for it online, there's a thing where you can write a check and do it that way. So oh, okay. you just, and it comes to us and then we get your shirt to you. So. Neat, neat. Yeah. Very great. Yeah. I, it's so amazing how much you've grown since you. I know. Yes, since the last time you were here. Yeah. It's it so is. cool. Yeah. Amazing. I think the last time we were here was right before we got our first SEMO truck. Remember? And yeah, we, we just I, got out with our mobile soup kitchen a few yeah, times. Yeah. And. But this is your third time, actually, isn't it? The first time you came when you were in the winter, right? Well, not winter. When you first set up, it wasn't too yeah. long afterward. Yeah, that was when we did our, wasn't that when we did our first, when we? You were put, talking about going out and looking for homeless. Oh, yeah. that was our mobile soup kitchen, kitchen. yeah, mm -hmm. when we were getting ready to. Yeah, the one John Stoopy mm -hmm. with him one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And John was uh -huh. there too. But you got, this is your third time, isn't it? I think it's only our second. Only oh, is second. it only the yeah. second? Yeah. 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 We'd like to have you back on again. It, okay. Oh, yes. Okay. We'll I guess. Back on again. I guess this is you. But give us a little while because we got to get that yes. office because that's I mean, the goal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So we can go back so on and say, listen, the yeah, office is all ready to go. You can just walk right in. <laughs> I know. Uh, well, just sent us a little message in your head when you get the office. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have you, you know, have seriously, I'll just text you. Text I'll text me. Yeah. Go ahead That'll and be schedule fine. it. Yeah. So, well, yeah, thank you. Because you guys are so amazing. You, oh, I mean, it's wonderful to have you all. Well, you guys are too. Thank you yeah. for helping yeah. get information out about what to do with the produce. And that was awesome. Well, yeah. thank you. So, really awesome. So that was kind of fun. I've changed my mind. I may just take another box tomorrow and I'll. Oh, yeah. Because I, I really thought it was for low income and no. I didn't want to take somebody's food away. That's no. what I thought. That's why I never asked. But <laughs> no, it's actually for the farmers, you know, and it just. It helps everybody. Mm -hmm. It's help. so cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. right up there with the Pat on uh, uh, Parkwood. No, St. Jen Manor one. Oh, oh are okay. you? Upstairs there. Yeah, you carried, brought the box around and put it at my door there. The apartment. You oh, was the last on front porch. I you had the extra, and it was the last one you had, and I said, well, I'll take it. Yeah, I'm always I'm home. Dead. <laughs> okay. I'm always Listen, I, how can you do that many? I remember where you put them right. on. <laughs> you know what? You actually be surprised. Do. I do. I do remember a lot, especially if I have conversations with people. Mm -hmm. But now, if I just um, drop it, drop it, or yeah. sometimes I am in a super hurry, and and she'll tell you if I don't take my medicine, then I might. <laughs> forget it. My brain's not working. <laughs> It's on hold for a little while. It's on hold. <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> My husband says that. He says that. Are you on hold today? Oh. All day long. <laughs> <laughs> Just that button. <laughs> uh. oh, that's awesome. Oh, that is great. Okay. Is there anything else that you I don't know? Do you have any other questions for us? Yeah. And they've answered. I think you did a good job. Okay. Great so job. Getting it out. Do you want to give your phone numbers again? Sure. And your websites and that, so if anybody wants to write them, yeah. they can do that. Um, our phone number is 636-465-9178. And then our website is heavenlyhopefoundation.org.
Heavenly. Well, you got that on the card. She gave you a card. Oh, oh and that's then right. Our post office boxes, oh, yeah. uh, PO Box 211, yeah. St. Genevieve, Jen. Missouri, mm -hmm. 63670. So, mm -hmm. yep. Okay. And then you can also reach us on Facebook Messenger. Mm -hmm. There we go. I think that's all the ways to get a hold of us. Yeah. And Do pretty look, soon our van will, our truck of hope will have the logo on the side. So oh, yeah. 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 Right now. Yeah. Excited yeah. for that. I know. Me too. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, don't yeah. forget your things. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Your letter. Well, thank you guys for coming yeah, on. And anytime for you want to come. When you get some more of this welcome. stuff done, yeah. come back. Okay. Please. Just, just give Paul yeah. or one. Yeah. Yeah. I want to bring, so we have some volunteers. We had a lady reach out where her daughter passed away. And um, so we have some volunteers making a quilt for her granddaughter because she couldn't oh. do it on her own. Um, in remembrance of her mom that passed away. So, Isn't that wonderful? Um, when that gets finished, we'll bring that on here. Okay. Oh, that would be great. Yeah. Yes. yes. So, yeah. that's, that's going to be cool. I can't wait to see that. Yeah, you guys are so blessed to have. Yeah, it's cool. Have this We're ministry lucky he put picked, on you. He picked yeah. our town for this organization. Yeah, it did. The grassroots. No other one exists. Yeah. I mean, it's great. Yeah. Pretty cool. And that's how things get started. Yeah. You just started from seed. One day yeah. he might be nationwide. I know. Yeah. Or worldwide. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know what he's got planned. Right. <laughs> you and you know, know. That, that really happens. I went to Washington, D.C. one time to a convention. And I met this girl. And she was from Chicago. And we roomed together, had never met before uh -huh. or whatever but we both wanted to save money yeah so we just said hey yeah you know. so we did and she was a blast we had so much fun and we're still friends to this day and that That's was back awesome. in the 80s in the 80s yeah That's and she so moved from cool. chicago to salem missouri uh-huh and she started a prayer ministry because jesus told her to uh-huh and she said he told well when we were in chicago she told me i mean when we were in dc she told me Jesus talked to me and told me I was going to do something really good, but he wouldn't tell me what. Uh -huh. And then when we got back and she was still in Chicago, she wrote me and she said, I know what I'm going to do now. And then they moved to Salem and she says, okay, this is what he laid on me, that I start a prayer ministry. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing you know, and he told me he was going to go nationwide. And so she was getting prayer requests from all over the United States in the little town of Salem. Yeah. Well, that's what we look at our Facebook. We're, it's worldwide. Like, we have people from all different parts of the Isn't world. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. It's amazing. That's I, great. I always do an update. Yeah, with, she's good about uh, that. Like every do you have a counter on yours? How uh, many like, visitors you get and all that? Um, we know we know that we have like over a thousand likes. Yeah, We're still on a over a thousand uh, people that follow like our you. page, right? Follow, follow our page, <laughs> um, and then I always get an update if someone liked a something that we posted, but oh, they're okay. not. They don't. They haven't liked our page, so mm -hmm. then I go and invite them to oh, like okay. our page. Um, but every couple of weeks, I always love to get on there and see like where heavenly hope is now and so i snapshot and i said look at us we're picking up uh michigan there was where we picked up 10 people in michigan uh -huh. and we picked up five people in africa um oh egypt gosh. yeah and uh where was the other one? Oh, i can't remember you guys that. ought to write a rule book of um and, and a description of your organization, and maybe they would start these all over the world. Yeah, since you're getting it's, from all over, that would be in the future. Yeah, that's a that would be a great thing. Yeah, yeah. that you guys are just. It's funny you say that. You are so <laughs> amazing. <laughs> you are. I just, no. I mean, from the very first time you were here, I talk about you a lot. Mm -hmm. How wonderful you guys are to give up your time to do something so great. It's cool. Yeah. I mean, it's. It's just so awesome. To <laughs> and there's nothing like serving people. Oh, no. Nothing. And you know, yeah. as a Christian, that's what we're supposed to do. Exactly. Yeah. We're supposed to love people, and we're supposed to plant seeds. Yeah. And that is what we're supposed to do yeah. as a Christian. Right. Yeah. God takes so, care of the rest of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's right. He does. Mm -hmm. I had somebody ask me one time, 
did you know that person we just passed by? Because I said hi to a stranger, you know, on the street, and I said, no, didn't know him at all. Yeah. Well, why did you say that? I said, I was hard to say hi to her. Yeah. 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 She I said, well, I have never seen you without a smile on your face. And I said, you know, my grandmother was one of these believers that if you if you just would smile at somebody, you don't know what that would do for that right, person. Right, exactly. exactly. It might make his day or you her get day. Smiles yeah. back from just some smile. Always have yeah. a pleasant face, and it yeah. might make that day for that yes. person. Exactly. So I just learned that from girl up, and I'm yeah. always just <laughs> up to smile. And when I was young in high school, I can remember one of the girls in my class uh -huh. saying, "You say hello to everybody." That's right. And I said. Yeah. I just thought you did. Yeah. <laughs> no, we didn't know any better, did we? Yeah. <laughs> Some people think I'm a little bit wacky because I run around grinning like an idiot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My 11-year-old, she loves to talk to everybody. She never meets a stranger. She will tell nope. everybody, every single oh, person, yeah. hi. She tries to talk to people. And, and so one day... My husband said, why do you do that? And she said, because I might be the only person that talked to that person today. Uh -huh. And that's true. She's but a as a concept, girl. you know, I think she was nine. Uh -huh. I think when we but asked yeah, her that, yeah. when he asked her that question, so a concept of a nine-year-old saying, I might be the only one right. that ever talked to him, you know Jesus is in her heart. Oh, yeah. Exactly. So. You never know, just a smile might make somebody's day. You know, they might feel down in the dumps and you give them a smile and... Yep. Gives yeah. them a little bit more hope. Yep, mm -hmm. that's right. Exactly. It never hurts you to smile. Nope, does not. <laughs> that's right. I know, and I think like heavenly hope, like that was the name. And that's it's, just how so you came sense. up with it. It just popped in your head, huh? Yeah, heavenly yeah. I hope. didn't know. I wrote on the my journal like counseling center. <laughs> like, I'm like, what is it supposed to be? I don't know what it's supposed to be. <laughs> He let, he let us and know. there it is. Happy, yeah. Heavenly thank hope. You, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very, so very much. Yeah, thank so. you. Have a good evening. Thank you, you too, Joe. See you guys. You too, thank, thank you, you so much. much. Back. You can tell everybody out there listening to you. Goodbye. See ya. Bye bye. Thanks for listening. I forgot we were on TV. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. no, That's because we're so okay. relaxed. I know. Yeah. <laughs> It's like talking with your friends. <laughs> That's Thank the way we want it. Yeah. Bye-bye, guys. Bye guys. Bye. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, everybody out there for watching us. Thank you for enjoying our show. Because we enjoy it. Yeah, for sure. We have this evening. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>